Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about the GitHub login using the Next Auth. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So here, login with. In the previous video, we have discussed the login with Google. Now login with GitHub. If I do that one, you can see that I'm logged in with my account. Okay, basically I have already authorized the app already. So that's the reason it come up with the details. Okay, so let's see um, the same details I have in the GitHub account. That is my name and the email. Okay, so let's see how we have to do the code for getting the login with GitHub in the next years with using the next auth. So here we go with the details. So here we have the API auth next auth. So make sure the fo current folder structure API auth next auth. And this we have the route.ts file. So here we have the GitHub provider where which we require the client ID and the client secret. Okay, so you don't know how to create the client ID and the client secret. I will let you know in the next video how to create that and how to fetch that one. Okay, so I will teach you in the next one, right? So currently I have already made the account already. So I am just using that one, the GitHub ID and the GitHub secret. Okay, let's move to the next one. Then now you have to create the components where you are going to wrap the whole function. So here we have to say that we have a children, right? So in the session provider, we have to wrap the children. And in the documentation also here, you can see that where we have the wrapper. So here we go with here. You can see that we have the all the sessions we have. So here you can see this is the callback for the JWT says token let's move to the here this is the next auth the here we have a client provider that is github id github okay next you can see that we have a app.jsx for the session provider here you can see that the session provider with the component or the page props so here if you want to mention the component page props you can mention it over here okay so this is that one next the last file that is page.tsx files where we are doing the login button with the github and maintaining the sessions right so here we have that one so import the necessary functions that we have okay so here we have the home fun home method home component you can say and uh, in the use session we are extracting data from the use session so we are extracting that one data so here if the session is there then we are showing the details of the user with image, with name, and with the email. And one more, that is sign out button. Okay, so this is the things. If the session is not there, then we are, if the login is true, then we are going to sign in with the button with the Google and the GitHub. So this is the two buttons, you can see that. It's Google and then another one that is GitHub. Okay, so if you want to use the image, I think we should go with the image tag over here, not this one. Okay, so that's important. So if you're using dealing with the images, I will let you know the image part also. So this image is not good. You have to go with the next image to use. Okay, so this is the GitHub one that we have to go with that one. Okay, and uh, you have to make sure you have to this button by clicking on this GitHub button link, then it will do the rest of the process. Okay, so this is the file. These three files you have to create and definitely you will able to get login with the Google or login with the GitHub. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.